But to every COVID tyrant who wants to take away our freedom, hear these words, we will not comply. very early morning to you. I woke up early this morning, opened up my computer, and was greeted with this message that was recorded by our former president yesterday. And I think it is totally on point. It's, no, it's not a music video, but it's truth. And it can be found on the Truth Social app I'll just play it all the way through. Pretty much speaks for itself. The left-wing lunatics are trying very hard to bring back COVID lockdowns and mandates with all of their sudden fear-mongering about the new variants that are coming. Gee whiz, you know what else is coming? An election. They want to restart the COVID hysteria so they can justify more lockdowns, more censorship, more illegal drop boxes, more mail-in ballots, and trillions of dollars in payoffs to their political allies heading into the 2024 election. Does that sound familiar? These are bad people. These are sick people we're dealing with. But to every COVID tyrant who wants to take away our freedom, hear these words, we will not comply. So don't even think about it. We will not shut down our schools. We will not accept your lockdowns. We will not abide by your mask mandates and we will not tolerate your vaccine mandates. They rigged the 2020 election, and now they're trying to do the same thing all over again by rigging the most important election in the history of our country, the 2024 election, even if it means trying to bring back COVID. But they will fail because we will not let it happen. When I'm back in the White House, I will use every available authority to cut federal funding to any school, college, airline, or public transportation system that imposes a mask mandate or a vaccine mandate. Thank you very much. I love it. Now, I know that there's been a lot of people upset with Mr. Trump and blaming him for the fact that we even have a vaccine. And I think he was snookered by Dr. Fauci and others into uh, promoting that while he was in office. But with this message here, I think he's seen the light and he's speaking for millions of us in this country who will not comply, will not wear masks, will not be locked down. And I especially like the part at the end that he will cut funding for any college or school or other organization that tries to impose a vaccine mandate. That is really, really important. Don't let these colleges abuse their students that way. It should never have been allowed to happen in the first place. And now it's starting up again. There's a number of colleges already that are reimposing vaccination mandates. We know the vaccination does not stop the spread. In fact, a lot of studies show that vaccinated people are more likely to get the COVID virus and get sick from it. So it never made any sense other than as a power play. Excuse the Trump commercial here, but this is a very important message and I hope the people in power hear it loud and clear and back off. Holding in the West, what I heard them say. They used to heed the words he 